Hey guys, welcome to KBRC Hobbies. How's everyone doing? Well, anyways, we've been plucking away on the uh, Tamiya Toyota Hilux, and we got quite a bit done on it. Most of the frame is uh, assembled. I think there'll be a few things we're gonna have to modify in time, especially these brackets, plastic brackets. I've already, I've already broken it here, but I crazy glued it. It's okay for now, but it might break. So. I think it's something we're going to have to address at a later date, making it in aluminum. So uh, we had to adjust the bumper because it was hanging down too low, so we redrilled it, brought it up, <clears throat> modified our steering linkage. Because now it is two, just front steering and not rear steering. It took all that mumbo jumbo out. I think it looks better. It looks more realistic. So, but this thing does have quite a bit of heft to it. It's pretty front end heavy. So anyways, uh, we got some things to do here, some other modifications, and I thought I'd bring you guys along to show you. So, you know, these RCs are, uh, like there's uh, so much you can do with them. Anyways, I'll put this on the side here, <clears throat> out of the way. So anyways, so what we're doing today is we're going to be showing you guys how we make hubs. So, take for instance, okay, you have a hub like this, right? And this is actually... Um, I got this off eBay a couple years ago, and they're actually Toyota hubs, and they're for uh, this style, like they're for one ten scale. So they fit in here just perfectly. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna crazy glue them unless I really have to, but I think they should be okay. So we'll see. That's all we can do. But anyways, what happens? What happens if you have just have a regular wheel, and you don't have that? Um, um, a hex um, piece in there for mounting on the on the um, uh, on the axle because these have basically <clears throat> like a, <clears throat> a race car style of um, uh, of hub like indie style race car I mean, you know, like you just this has a big center nut and their whole rim comes off right but anyways that's the way the uh, these um, Tamiya vehicles are they're like that. So, um, I'll show you an original rim. So here is an original rim, okay? This is the Tamiya rim. And see how it uh, has a hex in there. But what happens if you have a rim that you want to use, any kind of rim, for that matter, and you don't have that the hex in there? Well, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. We made a room. Cool, eh? So actually, you actually get the bolt detail too on the other end because I I need to cut these down, but gives you that detail what you want if you're kind of into that having the lug nuts on there, so makes it look a little bit more realistic. But um, these rims here I had uh, modified for something else, and then I changed my mind, and of course then I shaved down the inside, which was kind of silly. So now I have to make uh, spacers in there. So this will slide onto the axle. So, cause the axle has these little square, has these little, square, these little hex uh, nuts on there. And uh, that's, how, how, that's how that works. So anyways, I'll show you the basic tools and how to do this kind of stuff and just stay tuned for that. And I'll add it onto the video here. All right, or I'll show you uh, another video because I'm kind of limited on how much time I can spend on the um, uh, TikTok videos and actually on YouTube. So I will um, do a two-part two part video. All right, stay tuned. 